my name is Kim, and I'm here to talk about building a data science team that gives you an actual return on your investment. All right, these are words from the trenches. I'm a novice analyst. I'm working for average companies who are just starting to implement data science. And I've seen the full life cycle, birth through death, of two data science teams, and I think I see what's wrong. So let's say you're a company. You've heard the hype. Your first job is to figure out what data science is, what it does, how it works. And there are two parties in this process. On the left-hand side, there's the data science community. And on the right, there's the people who hire us. And we share, we work together to make this thing happen, right? We share a vision. Smart organizations that are learning and evolving in response to the market. Innovation everywhere. Uh, less waste. Forward momentum, am I right? So why is it that nearly every data talk I attend features some standalone discovery in a complete vacuum of context about why they asked or what they did with it. That's not data science, that's just data. <laughs> science is the assertion of a testable hypothesis followed by a cycle of validation and refinement in pursuit of a working theory. Yeah, all right, all right. Without science, you have data haikus. They're, they're fun, all right? They showcase your hard skill set. But they set a terrible precedent for how data science actually works. Why? Because no one is harmed in the making of this study. Science is there to challenge people's beliefs and show them what they think is wrong. That's the hard part. Um, in five years, it's not going to be about finding somebody who can find any signal in data. It's going to be about finding people who can find the signal that anyone gives a fuck about. All right? Companies aren't learning how to use data science, but they don't know that yet. All they know is that they need it. All right? So right now, you're going to build your data science team. As a company with no data people, how do you do that? Well, from my perspective, what they do is they plug every buzzword they've ever seen into LinkedIn and they pick up the phone. And you know what you get? You get a data science junk drawer. <laughs> I'm being recruited by 11 companies right now. You know what they're looking for? Everything. They have no idea what they need. They waste a shit ton of my time, and I frankly waste theirs. There are at least five job descriptions in this data science platypus. Companies have been searching for the mythical data science platypus for months, and they're getting really frustrated. If we're so good with finding patterns in data, what are the clusters in our own discipline? We need some good old-fashioned D&D character sheets up in this shit. <laughs> Not just to identify the classes, but to identify how they group into parties to solve different problems. And not just for the businesses. I'm in this industry too, I need to know what I'm called. All right, so you got your team. Are you done? You are not done. Turns out your data science team is one of the highest cost centers in your company. And the view from the trenches is that the majority of work that we do provides no value whatsoever. And why is that? Because data science isn't plug and play, it's an organ. And this is major organizational surgery here. Talk to your people about how to use data. And businesses, remember, we can only put the important work first if you have goals. Data people, turning those goals into KPIs is a big deal. You can start a grassroots movement in a company by changing one KPI. So be careful, they're powerful social devices. And lastly, data isn't magic. It's a research methodology. If you want actionable insight, use all your tools, qualitative and quantitative. The secret to data is goals and strategy. If you don't have time for that, then save your money. Science is about finding truths that challenge ideas that change behaviors. Data is fast, but science is slow. It's harder, and it's worth it. We used science to cure polio. So we share a vision, and we also share a fear that data is a fad. Right? A fad is something that sounded great but never provided real value. Don't worry about whether data is a fad, because we determine whether data is a fad by how we use it. Talk to me. I want to fix this. And I also want to thank James for letting me use his Starbucks analysis as an example of everything that's wrong in the industry. <laughs>